All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to set up Streamlabs uh, using your PC and broadcasting your um, broadcasting your Twitch paid your Twitch stream through using a console through Streamlabs. So the first thing you want to do, if you haven't done it already, is go to Streamlabs.com and download Streamlabs. Uh, it's a pretty quick download. Um, I've never used any other software streaming software so i've never had a problem with streamlabs but download that and then after that's installed you open it up it takes a second and you'll come to a blank screen um it usually does ask you for your settings but since i have it installed and all my settings are saved um this is the screen that it'll pop up stream and then you can put in your stream information to what you stream to. You can stream to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. It's gonna ask for your stream key. Uh, you put all the information in and then your Twitch handle and information will be in Streamlabs. So after that's set up, going back to the black screen. So assuming you have all the equipment that you need to stream, uh, like a capture card, microphone, uh, headset, uh, if you don't have any of the equipment or you're interested in what kind of equipment people use, you can go to my Twitch page um, on the bottom. The Amazon link has all the equipment I use um, and you can purchase it off there or look at other products. So you're on this page. It kind of doesn't do anything. Um, sources is going to be your main go to on Streamlabs. That's where you're going to find your webcam, your um, microphone and your capture card. So assuming all your capture card, your console, monitors, everything's hooked up, you're gonna go to hit the little plus sign and then video capture device. Click on it once, so you're gonna see it's asking you or it's telling you what's in this category. So a built-in webcam, a Logitech webcam, capture cards. Then you're gonna go down to add source, click on there. You can change the name to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to leave it as video capture device. Just keep it simple. Add source. So it's going to bring up my camera, which we don't want. We're going to get to that step next. We want your capture card. So if you're using an Elgato capture card or a different brand, it's going to pop up to something different. But my capture card is an FHD capture. Click on that and it's bringing up a blank screen again. So we're going to go down here to audio output. Capture audio only, use custom audio device, and go to um, FHD capture. Hit done, and still a blank screen. So that's because my Xbox isn't on yet. So I'm going to click it on. And as you can see, it's going through the PC, going through the Xbox, through the capture card, into the PC. Now you heard that, that was super loud and you saw everything jump down here. So you're gonna mute the video capture device just because you're gonna have audio going through the capture device and your desktop and you don't wanna have any um, echoes. So you don't want two audio sources coming through the same system. So as you heard, it it's picking up everything your controller's doing. So if you click on any game, say Warzone, you'll see it ping, your audio, your video is coming through. So the next one would be your webcam. Again, you go back to sources, your go-to for this. Video capture device again, it's looking for a webcam. And instead of hitting the video capture device, you're gonna add new source instead. And you can name it webcam just to keep it simple now it's gonna pick up your webcam same thing capture audio only done and now you can move your webcam whenever size it move it all over the screen wherever you want but for now we're gonna leave it on the bottom left and you're gonna go ahead and mute this section as well now the reason you mute that is because you don't want your webcam picking up audio 
through the webcam also. You want it to pick up through your mic. That way you, you don't have an echo and it's just one source where your voice is coming through. So you can see on the bottom right, the audio is coming through my mic and desktop. So for my microphone that's plugged in, we're gonna hit this little pinwheel, go to properties, device is gonna be boom mic. Yours might be something named different. Um, if you're using an Xbox headset, it might come up as like a three millimeter jack or a nine millimeter jack, whatever one you're using or the name and brand of your um, microphone. So I'm gonna click on that. So that's boom mic, done. And then as you can see, it's picking up my voice down here and you wanna lower the volume down so it doesn't max out and pop the speakers and get too loud. Same thing with your desktop audio. You wanna lower that down depending on what game you're playing. If you want the gameplay to be heard more, you can raise it, lower it, if you want your voice to be higher or lower, you can raise it, lower it. Um, and that's pretty much the simplest setup. Um, there's more advanced things you can do, like you can add widgets and alert boxes and all that stuff. But for the time being, and for now, the basic setup is your audio is coming through the right way and your microphone's being picked up separately through without going through the desktop. So right now I can hit go live. It's gonna bring up this screen. You type in whatever game you're playing, the title of your stream and the tags you wanna use. You can also link your Twitter account. You hit tweet and go live. And then you'll be live in about 30 seconds or so once it boots up. And that is how you set up your Xbox to stream through your PC onto Twitch. All right, well, that about wraps it up. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at DonnieBabyKid and my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash DonnieBabyKid. Uh, I'll be trying to pump out some more videos next week. Uh, hopefully you guys found this useful, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching my video.